Welcome back, everybody. Getting set for second half action in the AC Crusaders against the Rhode Island Oceaneers, 2-1. to one. Oceaneers lead it at halftime. My name is Mike Wolverton. I am joined by Jason Smith. Goes without saying, two of the worst times to concede goals. The Crusaders gave up a goal in the first 20 seconds and the last 20 seconds of the first half. Yeah, not a great time to concede goals there. Um, they've got to switch on it both times there. First, first one of the game and the last one of the game. They would have been delighted to go in 1-1 there after the start that they had, but poor start and pressure again from the Rhode Island Oceaneers. Right at the start of kickoff. Ahmed El Geyer gets in the way of that pass from Sam Fonseca. The other argument is there's never a good time to concede a goal. No, there's not. Um, but I guess there is, and when you're up 5 0. Yeah, when you're up 5 0, it helps, but I'm sure the, the coaching staff for the AC Crusaders had their team talk set in their head and they're ready to get them in, reorganise, and there was positives to take. The AC Crusaders were on top for the last 15 minutes and they give away a free kick. I think it was Mitch Garotti. They put one in the box and they score a goal. It changes the whole emphasis of the game. That's right, the AC Crusaders had really uh, put pressure on in the last 15 minutes. Uh, Frank Ponyboa almost scored with the goaltender Mora well out of his net. But uh, the way it is, 2-1. to one. Rhode Island on top. And uh, I think I said this, maybe not. No apparent changes for either side as we get going here in the second half. This is Barros. No, no changes. Barros has moved to the right side now. And um, change rules, we've got him on this side here as we're commentating. And... Yeah, he's been right in front of us the whole match so far. Yeah, Rich Stone got his number at the end of the game there, so he's going to take Cal Martin for a little run in this second half. Try and test him out. Worth a try. See if that works. Head coach for the Rhode Island Oceaneers is Jazir Charos. Yeah, half time I've got the opportunity to speak to the general manager of the Rhode Island Oceaneers, and he's very excited about Barrios. He's, um, he's from Cape May, I found out, and he's seen him as a 14-year-old kid and knew right away he was going to be a player. This is Arbolena coming through the middle, hands it off. And now up the left side, Rovira, he's got a goal in this match. The two wingers, Rovira and shot, save made by Gill, down low with the right paw, and a good save. Yeah, good save from Ryan Gill, good feet there from Rovira. Obviously, confident after his first goal and looking at to his tower this evening. Rovira will take this corner. Comes in, man attacking for Rhode Island. Goes over the top of the net. I would have hoped that they would have called a foul had that gone on net as he climbed the back of the AC defender. Yeah, he was charging in there. Did a big run in, attacked the ball, and just couldn't get over it. Goal kick coming up for AC. We are just underway in the second half. Thanks for watching here this evening as the Crusaders look to get back to their winning ways. Trail it by one at the moment. And they'll try to get some more hookups between Frank Twentyboa and Dodgy Fritas. A connection that was really starting to click there towards the end of that first half. Yeah, this will be interesting to see as the game drags on. If the score stays the same, if they make any changes, they move Frank Twentyboa a bit further forward and push Adam Sternberger forward up the park. They'll leave Mitch Grady his own. And they'll hold the midfield role. This is Rhode Island in the middle. Fonseca looking for Barrow, style that Kyle Martin intercepts that pass. Ends up going right back to Rhode Island. Here they come again up the right side. This is the defender. It actually looks like Stormberger's actually taking more of a tack and roll as it is just now. A more of a 4-4-2 formation or a 4-4-1-1. This is Bauman on the right side. Sends it towards the front of the net. Knocked down by the defense and cleared away. Fritas doesn't win that battle against Taylor Backhouse. And Barros will send it back to the other defender. Give it away to Girardi. Girardi finds Barrios on the left. Excuse me, that's Sternberger. Adam Sternberger has gotten the beating of his man, but nobody in the middle to get on the end of that cross. However, it is slightly misplayed by Taylor Backhouse. It will be a corner kick. Yes, yeah, Sternberger's playing further forward. A little change there from the coaching staff trying to mix things up. Perso would have thought it'd been Frank 20 but shaking up the other Stormberg is going forward and trying to cause problems. The more you keep playing the same way, the more predictable you are. Exactly. Trying to get a goal, goals change games. Corner is taken short, now blasted towards the middle, and it is in! Scoring is Dodgy Fritas. We are tied at two. They caught the road out, Island Oceaneers sleeping there, great short corner. I think it was Barry Austin and Sternberger driven both across the six yard box and there's Dodger Fitas. Crusaders of the night, Dodger Fritas! 
you won't see a cross hit much harder than that. No, he's drilled a crosser. Anything on the ball is going in the net if your body position's right. And three tasks was there, and he's not going to get a better opportunity than that. I think I would have scored that one. Well, let's not get carried away. 2-2 <laughs> is the score, and two terrible times to concede goals, and both times now AC has fought back. And now the time to see if they can take what has come together as a some good offensive opportunities, see if they can take the lead. Buddy Boa has the ball on the left side, gets it forward, and now put back. This is Dodgy Fritas. He's offside. I didn't think he was, but the linesman does. No, he looked like he was onside there, but the change that the coaching staff have made, Carl's with a good switch. Sternberger's gone up top. And they look very busy and very lively this half. Knocked out of play by Ahmed El Geyer. Playing central defense with Michael Monticchio. Yeah, Monticchio was slotted in quite well there. Um, done his task well, obviously. Nico's out, suspended today, and he's obviously trying to keep his jersey for the next game. I know it's three weeks away, but... Well, the next home game is three weeks away, but they do play... Uh, I guess they have next week off. Next week's off, yes. And then two weeks from now, the AC Crusaders will be on the road. This is foul called against AC. I'll find it eventually. They'll be on the road on the 18th. No, I'm wrong. They won't. I thought they have got one game left. They've got two games. You're right. They've got two weeks off until the final game. Yeah. Makes sense because ten games. They've played eight, so this is the ninth. Yep. And then they're back in March, I think. The second half of the season. Free kick coming for Rhode Island. Bauman will take it. And the rest of the Oceaneers crowded. The top of the 18-yard box on the far end. One, two, three, four, six players there. Bauman sends it in. There's a man there. It is in the air. Gil can't come for it. Controlled by the Oceaneers. Pressured by Martin. Rovira tries to get it free. Let's see who's going to get on the end of this. It is. It falls to Fonseca. His shot is blocked. And Fritas comes away with it for AC. Oceaneers regain control. Now it's loose. Arboleda will try to get past his man. Shot saved by Gill. Had to come bounce right in front of the goaltender on a wet night, but he handled it. Yeah, he done well there, Ryan Gill. And it, from what I can see, Dodger Fritas has been holding his groin. He might have had a little strain there. Looks to be very uncomfortable. But Ryan Gill keeping his side in the game and now getting them organized for the corner. 2-2 is our score. Early stages, second half. Corner coming from the near side. Over the head of the first man, but it is another AC Crusader there to clear it away. Rhode Island regains. Long shot is too high. Yeah, you know, clearing the ball there from the, the corner, and then the AC Crusaders put a lot of pressure on the ball, allowing the, the shot from long range to go over the bar. Keep an eye on Fritas and see... If he is feeling the ill effects of a possible injury. Chasing after that ball, but it is won by Rhode Island. Oceaneers coming from left to right here in the second half. Man is knocked over. No call made. And Girotti, long ball. This is onside. Sternberger chasing after it. The goaltender comes out and just gets enough of it. He didn't handle it cleanly, that's for sure, but got enough of it. Played oh. it to safety. Sternberger showing his pace there. And... Something I never knew he had, but good change of pace here, good shift, and put pressure on the goalkeeper. And that was Girardi with a nice long ball, finding the onside and streaking Sternberger. This is a throw in for AC on the far side. Headed towards the box. Fritas gets a foot on it. He's all alone at the moment. He breaks free, sends it across. Well, hit the side netting. Yeah, Dodger Fritas done well. He had not a lot of space to play there, and got his shot away, controlled the ball well. But for now, the best tactical change of the game has been moving Sternberger up front. The coaching staff mixing it up, and it's really working well. Goaltender Chris Mora sends it to midfield, headed forward by Rhode Island, knocked away by AC. And a throw in coming on the far side. Crusaders have tied the score here in the second half. 
Goal by Dodgy Fritas, set up by Adam Sternberger. This ball headed back by El Geyer to his goaltender, Gill, who will throw it out quickly. Too much pace on it. It will elude Julian Barrios, the intended target. This one knocked down and taken by Girardi in midfield. Tony Boa turns. Again, looking for Sternberger, streaking past, but the defender blocked this one. And now Sternberger's onside again, up the left side. He's got some space. Sternberger plays it in the middle. Free toss is all alone, and he's wide. His first touch was not what he wanted, and then the goaltender was in his face. He put it wide. No, Tony Boa and Sternberger linking up well. Sternberger getting in, good left foot across the dodge of free toss, and he's got to finish that. Bad first touch, he was, probably should have hit it first time, he should have taken confidence from his first goal and slotted that one home. Maybe got caught in two minds. But yet again, Sternberger getting in behind and causing this Oceaneers defence a bit of problems. Boy, a lot has changed uh, since the first half hour when the, the Crusaders did not have a ton of chances. They have really, things have opened up quite a bit the later stages of that first half and since the outset of this second half, they have had plenty of looks. Yeah, well, I said in the first half, they need to up the intensity. They need to change something. They have good intensity now. They're playing everything at high tempo and it's causing them problems. Twenty balls getting on the ball more and creating stuff. Dodge of free tests and Sternberger linking up well. Need to keep it going. For substitution, Barros is out. Made a huge impression in the first 15 minutes, but became increasingly less effective, and now he's been replaced by number 21, Daniel Arango. This is the Crusaders coming forward, but offsides is the call. That's a strange substitution for me. He seems a guy who can flip the game on his head. It must be an injury. He's standing on the bench. He's hanging on his head just now, but you could have made an impact in this game if you stayed on. Daniel Arango, the man to take his place. 2-2 two two is our score. Free kick for Ocean Oceaneers. And sent back the other way. This time it will be Dennis Rosales. And off 20 Boa. Out of bounds on the near side. Throwing coming for Rhode Island. Nice little idea there between Barrios and then trying to the ball. Just a heavy touch. As I said before, dodge feet toss. Look, he was holding his groin, but moving very freely there up front. Looks so shaking that earlier injury off. Talked about the Crusaders only having one game left. The Oceaneers, this is only their fifth game. They've got five left to play in the first half. I don't know when they're going to play all these games. I'm sure it'll be a busy November for them. They are in action the next three weekends. That'll get them up to eight. Show in from the near side, Rhode Island Oceaneers 2, AC Crusaders 2. Barros and Rovira, the goal scorers for Rhode Island, and Sternberger and Fritas for AC. This is Fritas chasing after this long ball. Mora, well, he's been, that was his best, uh, best example of him coming out and playing that ball away. He failed completely the first time. He did better the second time in that one. Yes, he's, um, an old British sweeper keeper, I yeah. say. Kyle Martin has it stripped away from him, and Rhode Island takes it the other way. Fonseca, well, he was going to lose the ball, and then he's tripped by Girardi, and Girardi's going to get a card for that. That's in the exact same area where Nico Fontana, I think his second name is. I apologize if I got it wrong, but his first yellow card of the night. Bit of deja vu there for me. Professional foul. Well, I thought that ball was going to go out of bounds and or be uh, taken away by the other Crusader that was there. But yeah, he was going nowhere. It's a silly foul to give away. So Bauman will send one towards the 18-yard box with about a half an hour to go here in this contest. Towards the far side of the field, right over the head 
of the AC defender, and Rhode Island gets past one man. Cross coming to the box, headed down and headed poorly by Perdomo. Yeah, Perdomo had a free header there. He just put it right into the ground. Yeah, he just, one of them, it's between his chest and his head, and he's either going to go in first time or take a touch. I think he made the wrong option there, he had a lot of time. Is there a clever name for that, where you head it right into the ground? Head it back to where it came from, um, back across goal. I mean, to, they, they, is there a nickname for that, something they call that when you miss it and put it right into the ground? No, not really, no. It's, um, the ball goes the wrong way, we call it a 50p heat back home, but... <laughs> That's what, I, that's what I like to say, but it's a bad header. It's bad called pen. a what? A 50? 50 pence head. I gotcha. This is going to be a free kick for Rhode Island. It's an old British town, that. But maybe a Scottish town. Sounds like the name of a band, too. <laughs> So again, Rhode Island will send men towards the 18-yard box. And the delivery coming from about the 33-yard line. The referee making sure everything's sorted out. And finally, this free kick's going to come in. Couple of players go for it. Ba uh, Backhouse was the man who got ahead on it, but weakly headed towards the AC goaltender, and he launches one the other way. Goes right to Fritas, well, it's just past him. Now they jump for it, and Rhode Island always likely to come away with that. Backhouse forward. Perdomo gives it away. Frank Twenimoa, he's got a man, and that is on side. Man coming up the right side. Sternberger, he's got a lot of space. He will shoot. Save me. And who will get to it first? The Crusaders. Players knocked over. Mora, again, is way out of his net. Oh, he's going to try to punch. It's a fight between Girardi and the goaltender. Now, Girardi gets his hands up. He's already been yellow carded. Uh, that's not smart. No, Girardi could be sent off for this now. I didn't see the very first confrontation. The goaltender was out as that ball rolled freely after the save. And then he, he didn't like something that happened between him and Girardi because he got up and he was looking to take a swing at Girardi. And, and fortunately for the goaltender, he did not uh, connect. Yeah, stupidity there from the goalkeeper. He's come out. He's, he's not a great night. And he's let his frustration get the better of him. But Girardi getting involved, this is not a good idea for him on a yellow card. Absolutely not. You understand Moore is angry and he let him face the discipline and Girardi on the yellow card just can't you know, can't do anything to get back at him and the referee's calling him over. Girardi's going to go here. The last thing the AC Crusaders need is another sending off this week. That's certainly the case. But the referee looks like he may take this thing out of the game. Just talk to the two of them, relax them. Yeah, good referee. You know, I, I have to agree with you. I, I think that I think that they both deserve cards, yet... He doesn't want to ruin a game. Exactly. If he sends one off, he's got to send the other one off, and it's a goalkeeper and a centre midfielder. It's been a good game so far, so... Yeah, uh, again, I think they deserve cards, and I'm glad they didn't get cards. But Grody's got to watch himself now. Oh, he's my goodness. One, one more tackle, he, he will be in for an early bath. So, 2-2 two -two is our score. We've got 25-plus minutes to go here in the second half. This one could go either way. And it looks like there is going to be a substitution coming off is Fonseca. And we'll get you the switch on the substitute. I left the uh, substitutes board at home this week. Oh, he just won't turn around for me. We'll get to the name of that substitute, though, as soon as... There he is, number seven. Meanwhile, the ball is loose and taken away by Rhode Island on the far side. Played towards the middle. Looking for the substitute, Arango. But taken away by the defense and played forward to Kyle Martin. Arango tries to chase him down. Barrios in control. Back to the defender, Monticchio, and this is Martin again. 
falling down. Oh, Kyle Martin almost got away. Freitas going to try to send it forward for Sternberger, who is onside. Adam Sternberger heading towards goal. He's pushed a little bit in the back. Shot saved. It's loose. Mora dives on top. Yeah, Sternberger causing more problems again. Kyle Martin nearly getting any run. 100 yards out to get out the field and nearly got his award for that goal. That opportunity, sorry. More positive play from the AC Crusaders. Real chance there, and AC looking the more likely at the moment to find a winner. Yeah, they're playing well. Settled in the second half nicely, showing some good intensity. Need to keep it going, 25 minutes to go. The substitute is Stephen Montero, taking the place of Fonseca. Their substitution number... No, they do have the substitute board number eight coming off. On, oh, sorry for number four. Julian Berrios. Julian Berrios. We'll make way for O'Shane Rose. O'Shane Rose. Guys had an okay game last week. A big physical presence coming on now. So, both managers making changes. Five changes allowed in the American Soccer League. So just because three have been made, well, I'm sorry, just two have been made by Rhode Island. So they've got quite a few left. And we have 24 minutes and 30 seconds to go in this game. 2-2 is our score. Rich Stone gambles, gets by his man, and on the right side, this is Rose with his first touch. Sending it forward for Sternberger, who seems to be all over the place. Girardi gives his man a little push. He's off. Oh, my goodness. Well, he deserved a yellow before, maybe, but not for that. That's not a red card, that. He's just gone in a little a slight push in the back. He just touched someone that's praised the referee before, but that's bad refereeing. I concur entirely. So, red card for Mitch Girardi on his AC debut. But what that does, that pushes Adam Sternberger back into midfield and takes his thread away up front. Oh, and he had provided quite a threat. He's been very busy, very, very energetic. I criticised him last week, but for this week he's been fantastic. It changes the whole complexion of the game now. Absolutely. Instead of looking for a winner now, the AC Crusaders may be looking to hang on to what they've got here. 2-2 is the score. And in the 67th minute... Chris Girardi is sent off. He's just a little push in the back. It's hardly anything. It's one of them. He's on his last warning, so the referee is looking for anything. To and I guess off. he really did say that's the very yeah, last warning. Last warning. Boy, oh boy. So, hand men again for the AC Crusaders. They don't do themselves any favors with the sending off. And they will try to preserve this 2-2 tie and perhaps counterattack. Rhode Island has to be licking their chops to see if they can end up with three points in this one. Ball rolling towards Gill. Sort of a miscommunication there. El Geyer and Gill, weren't, they weren't sure who was going to handle that, and Gill does take it. Yeah, lack of communication there, but job is done. Good feet. Tony Boa goes right around his man, and again, looking for Sternberger. Sternberger ahead of the defense on the left side. Cuts back towards the middle. Another touch. Now for Rose coming through is a man who falls over there is not going to be a penalty called it is going to be a corner kick that's a penalty kick he's making connection there the boy's gone down him for me that's a stonewall penalty Crusaders did have a penalty kick in the first half and you know the free kick from uh, Mitch Garoli the sending off so foul then that's a definite penalty I'm sorry poor call from the referee and the coach just after a limit on the touchline Still, 2-2 is our score. Floated in, headed away by Rhode Island. And the man with time to play it up the left side for the substitute, Stephen Montero. They fight for it in the middle of the park. Comes through for the other Rhode Island midfielder. Passes behind Bauman. And now back to Arango. Arango sends it forward, tapped to Gill. And Perdomo slid right into Ryan Gill. Yeah, I'm sure Ryan Gill will be fine. He's a big strong boy. He'll shake that one off comfortably. 
but the AC Crusaders are saying with a 4-3-2 they're keeping Sternberger up front and dodgy free tasks there they're, they fancy their chances for this game from being aggressive yeah why not they need the result they need a win that's right with just the one game remaining in the I apologise if we're 3-4-2 with Richstone, Kyle Martin and Ahmed Algaier. Three at the back with Frank Twenty-Boa and Michael Monticchio. Monticchio in centre midfield. You're right. So Senna could be stick or twist there. Twist and then they're giving it a go. Stick or twist, that must be another British expression. Yes. <laughs> Define. Just means you're either going to hold on to what you've got or mix it up and go for it. You know they're in Atlantic City, gambling. There you go. Gambling City there, they've got to give it a go. Just off sides on the far side, Stephen Montero. Gill plays it forward quickly. Frank 20 Bolo. Sternberger was off sides. Just about everybody's off sides. He's not. Oh, again, he's not off sides, and that's exactly what the argument is for the AC Crusaders players and coaches. Sternberger and Free Test were off sides, but again, seem to be all right. This call goes the way of Rhode Island as all the calls have in the last few minutes yeah, not to say the whole game but the last few have gone against AC they've had the last three or four they've been very fortunate but the AC Crusaders this half been fantastic play with a lot of energy and a lot of intensity we're really looking to get this win Arango congestion in the middle of the park Rojas, he's been awfully quiet since the early stages. This one over the top. Man is free. Hooked towards goal and just wide. Steven Montero, good chance. Ryan Gill forced him to shoot it wide. He should have done better. Time for a touch and slot at home, but he got in behind the AC Crusaders defense. Just need that bit more composure in front of goal. Never took it. He's only been on for a couple of minutes, and he's already had two good chances. So Steven Montero providing good offensive opportunities for Rhode Island Oceaneers. We are in a tie game. 2-2 two to two is the score. Crusaders with the only goal of this second half. Albaleda forward on the left side. Steven Montero cuts back now has it stripped away by Rich Stone. Picked his pocket. Stone in between three men. Gets it through. That's a bad tackle from Stone. Studs were up. That's a yellow card. So Rich Stone earns a yellow card. His foot was high there. He's actually lucky. He's only got over the yellow. Just missed control and he's gone through him. Hey, the Rhode Island Oceaneers player is down. Breaking the action. Take a look at the American Soccer League standings. Two teams with the best records in the league at the moment, Western Mass and Icon. Fury defeated Icon once previously and are playing them tonight. Interested to see how that one will turn out. But Icon has 13 points after six matches and Western Mass 14 points with the same number of matches. They've got the best goal difference in the league, Western Mass. 12 scored, only two conceded. Philadelphia and Icon tied for the most goals scored in the American Soccer League with 13. Fury, though, have surrendered 11. If you want the results up there, they've been to match match speed. Match 93 to 2 today. Really? That's yes. Up at that's that's in uh, that's in Massachusetts. The diplomats, the fewest points in the league, and Western Mass the most. And that's the final 3-2. 3-2 final score. Yes. Wow. Interesting. Have you got any information on the Fury and Icon? I'm just trying to find out now. It's an important matchup in the Mid-Atlantic Conference where Icon leads Philadelphia by four points. We are ready to resume play here. With a free kick from the far side for Rhode Island. The Crusaders playing with ten men. Steven Montero, I'm not exactly sure what he was trying there. It looked like he turned and he was going to back heel one into the goal. And that would have been good. Although difficult. Throw in for Rhode Island. Arboleda in the middle goes backwards, and they'll play it along the back four. Not as much threat of pressure from AC with only 10 players. 
left now in the middle. A little bit of space for Rhode Island. Arboleda tries to get around his man. Stepping in is Martin. It goes right back to Arboleda. And finally the whistle blows. The linesman has a foul. I think it's for a handball. He waved his flag, but the referee said no. Now the referee over to have a word with the linesman. They'll straighten it out. And it looks like it will be a free kick for AC. I also think it's 2-1 to Ironbound so on their game. They're playing Mass United. Or are they playing Western Mass? Yeah, they're playing Mass United. Western Mass, Ironbound, so they're playing. Ironbound, so we're leading 2-1. So Evergreen beat Mass United? Yes. Gotcha. And I can't find the Philadelphia Futures score just now. 2-2 two -two is the score right here. 15 minutes to play, plus some stoppage time. We just had a somewhat lengthy stoppage, so there will be some extra time. And the Crusaders on the attack, although they are playing down a man. Taken away by Rhode Island. And now through. This is onside. Here comes Montero. El Gallo chasing him down. Gill forces it wide. Steven Montero ahead of the defense. And in between... El Gaia and Gill, they keep him out. El Gaia done fantastic there, getting back across. The striker was actually offside, but Rich Stone played him on with his second phase touch. But El Gaia got back fantastic, put the pressure on and made the, the striker shoot wide. Brian Gill covering his angles well. There have been quite a few chances for Rhode Island in this match that they have should have done better with and have not. Yes, yeah, they squandered a few. I said they might come back and haunt them and Currently that could be the case, but on the reverse side of that, the AC Crusaders have done the same. They've had a couple of chances here and there, but this is not taken. Steven Montero once again on the left side. Montero is knocked down. Foul coming against. No, I'm going to say that it was Montero. The two clipped heels, it appeared. It looked like they both got their feet tangled. Stone went down. The call goes the Crusaders' way. Yeah, Stone done well there. Fritas heads it forward, thought that Sternberger would be trying to get behind the defense there, and they didn't time that well, the two of them. Taken away by Rhode Island. Forward right past everybody, the two number 18s, El Geyer and Perdomo. Gill will give it off to Kyle Martin. So interesting when they go to the 3-4-2. It's Montecchio that moves into midfield and Martin stays on defense. Yeah, we must be happy with Cal Martin's defensive duties. To be honest, he's done very well the last two games. He looks comfortable there. And he's a left-footed player, which always helps. He does look comfortable there. Montecchio's pass cut out and Rhode Island a chance to take it the other way. For me, the strength of the AC Crusaders is there. Then three midfield in the 2-1. And Tony Boa, Sternberger, and uh, Mitch Garrod, who's obviously been sent off now. So Cal Martin being pushed out to the left side of defense, but he's done well. Throw in for Rhode Island. 12 minutes to play. Crusaders down a man, looking to hold on for at least a point. Throw in. Knocked out of bounds. It'll go the other way. Crusaders not going to be in any big hurry as we wind down the latter parts of this half. Well, this is dangerous. He threw it right to Gill in a position where there was a Rhode Island player. Yeah, Gill got lucky there. Bad, bad control. Given away to Rhode Island. Through the middle. This is Perdomo. Save made by Gill. He just got a piece of that. That was ticketed for the far post. Good save from Ryan Gill. Made up from his earlier error there from his lack of control. Pushed it away for a corner. Now they've got it set up and make sure they're organized. But even though they're under pressure, the AC Crusader still sticking with two up front. Hoping to get something out of this game. Rhode Island scored from a set piece in the closing seconds of the first half. This corner kick coming from the near side. It'll be a left-footed in-swinger. Taken by Rovira. Set to the far post and well away from goal. Headed away by AC. Tony Boa tried to get it past his man. He does have control. Two Oceaneers help take it away. Here comes Rhode Island again. That pass evades Rojas. He puts up his hands. 
as if to say that was a lousy pass, but Rojas has not exactly turned this game on its ear himself. No, definitely not. Just frustration, and they've had chances to win the game, so... And now the Rhode Islanders Saints are pushing forward. Trying to get something out of this. Ten minutes to go. Off the shins of Perdomo. That's Rojas and the substitute Montero. Rovira on the left. He's got a goal in this match. Rovira just allowed to take it towards the net. Rich Stone has to go off of his body and out of bounds for a quarter kick. Both the three at the back now. They're going to get more success in the wide areas. There's no right or left back out there to stop the wide players. So it's a tough job for the right and left midfielders for the AC Crusaders. So allowing them with and defending the ball coming into the box. AC Crusaders substitution. Substitution coming for AC. Dodgy Freak Toss is going off. And Marco Tomozanovic will come on. He scored last week as a substitute against Ironbound. That was the only goal of the match for AC. This one towards the middle, headed away by Sternberger. O'Shane Rose is there. And Rose will try to get it away from the ocean here, but cannot. Rhode Island still attacking towards the middle. Knocked away by Aguina. May have been a handball in there. Kyle Martin will do the bicycle kick and play it out of bounds near side. Throw in Rhode Island. I think this is a good substitution for the AC Crusaders. Tom Janovic had a good game when he came on. He looked busy, he looked lively. Got his goal. And Dodger Free Tass looked to be tiring up there, so freshen things up, fresh legs. Trying to get something out of this game. This one headed away by AC. Plenty Moa with a long ball high into the air. Tom Janovic chasing after that. Sternberger dropped. Back a little bit here now in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, he's dropping back in. They're still sticking with three at the back. We're a 3 5 1 there now, but I'm sure when they're on the attack, he'll push forward and trying to support Tom Janovic. Throw in for Rhode Island. 2 2 the score. Aguirre and Monticchio. Aguirre keeps it in bounds. Only see Rhode Island head it. The other way, loose at midfield, and Kyle Martin will send it down to the left. Off the head of Sternberger, Tom Ojanov is chasing. The defender will play it out of bounds. Backhouse, safety first. And yeah, the goalkeeper was a bit slack coming out there. Unlike him, to be fair, he's usually first out. He's an adventurous goaltender, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a weird one. Well, they haven't given up a lot of goals heading into this match. They've only played four games, though. I take that back. It's six goals in four games. Make it now eight in five, so. They're conceded. That's an error by the broadcaster. <laughs> this one heading forward. Montero, no one else to help him out. That's somewhat strange with the manpower advantage that there's no one else there. Tomo Janovic behind the defense. He's onside. Marco Tomo Janovic can't quite handle it cleanly on the first touch. He's still got possession, though. Gives it off to Sternberger. Sternberger goes by his man. Opportunity to put one into the box. Cleared away. Goes right back to Sternberger. Tomo Janovic will be really frustrated with his first touch. He needed to take that touch forward. It was an own goal. I don't think he knew how much time he actually had. Yeah. Golden opportunity there for the AC Crusaders to potentially snatch the win. Letting a man get behind you there with an extra player. Signs of some disarray for the Oceaneers. Ball thrown in, looking for Rose, headed away. And AC will get another opportunity on the far side. Sent towards a Guinea past Sternberger. Out of play. So it will be. That. It'll be an AC throw in. Mura again is out. Collides with Tomozanovic. Referee sees nothing in it. It's a, another free kick. And Mura, he hates being in the goal. <laughs> Said he's playing more of a sweeper. Clearing up everything that comes into his box. Rhode Island. And, well, foul called here against 20 Boa. Clock says six minutes to go. We are tied at two. There will be some extra time added on. Oceaneers defender sends a long ball forward on the ground and picks out, well, just out of bounds. Rovira couldn't keep it in, and the Crusaders throw it in. Monticchio. Showing good strength there, Monticchio holding up the ball. 
sent him back to Richstone for that channel ball to Tommy Onovich. Tommy Onovich absolutely causing problems for the defenders back there. Yeah, he's got 10 minutes. He's um, got to come on and show the coaching staff what he can do. He's got a goal last week. He's got 10 minutes to get it. Well, five minutes now to get his team a goal and try and win the game. Ball headed or sent towards midfield, headed away by Kyle Martin. Crusaders will get there first. That looked like a handball. Another call which hasn't gone the AC Crusaders way. Aguirre throws it in. That's a foul throw. He's passed the line, just exactly what you talked about, the, the different lines here. There's two blue lines, there's a yellow one, and uh, he's just passed the line. Yeah, I spoke about that earlier. The lines are quite deceiving. We've seen that in the first game down here. And now again, just lack of concentration. Tom Donovich will chase this ball along with the defender. Give it away to 20 Boa. This falls for Aguirre. Sent into the middle, cleared away by the defense. Mura is fouled. Well, they gave too many fouls against goaltenders, but that one was absolutely justified. Mora was pushed. Yeah, it's a definite foul. Osmaro was just going in there, pushing the goalkeeper. And the defender having to calm down the goaltender, Mora. He's, he's been out everywhere. He, he almost threw a punch at well, Girardi. Well, he did throw a punch. He missed the punch. Uh, for me, he should have been sent off for missing. It's more embarrassing for him. <laughs> <laughs> this one has been an interesting one, to say the least. Monticchio, guilty of a foul in the middle. Free kick coming for Rhode Island. I'm sure he wouldn't be swinging for Osmar Rose. He's a big boy out there. He'd come off worse if you hit him. <laughs> Bauman with it. Over to Arango. Plays it forward. Gill with a moment of hesitation, but then he came out and claimed. Yeah, Ryan Gill's been hot and cold in the goal today. Showing good signs of what he can do and then been hesitant at times. Been given his opportunity today. O'Shane Rose got a man on the left and he is taken off the ball from behind. Good job by the Rhode Island Oceaneers, and here they come, handled on the far side by Rich Stone. Rich Stone's done great with his defensive duty today. He's not got forward that much, but he's stuck to his task. He's had a hard role with the wide players he's been marking. Despite the manpower advantage, this game has not been all Rhode Island by any stretch since the sending off. It has been fairly even. Yeah, you see, you see they've played positive. Um, in American soccer, there's no relegation, no promotion, so... You're going to try and win as many games as you can. This is Bauman. Pokes it past Tomoljanovic. Now he'll streak forward. Defender getting it past Monticchio, but not past the rest of the defense. Rolls to Gill with under three minutes to play. Tied at two. I'd ask you if the Crusaders would be happy with a point here, but I guess the, the answer is obvious with them being down a man that they would. I'm not sure. I know, I know the, the coaching staff well, and they want to win games. They want to prove they're worthy of their um, spot in this league and try and climb up the table. Um, as you can see, they've been playing two up front. As the game goes on, Sternberger's gone up. They've made attacking substitutions. So for me, they're trying to push on and win this game. Speaking of substitutions, there has been one made by Rhode Island. Rovira comes off. Going on in substitution, going up, Brian Rovira, to be replaced by number four, Johnny Gonzalez. Johnny Gonzalez comes on to replace Rovira. As I said before, there's no relegation, there's no promotion. So if you get a draw, it's another point, but wins give you confidence. And I'm sure that's what the players are wanting. Going to the next game confident, try and get six points, so one minute thirty to go. For me, it looks like they're going to try and go for it and get this win. Ball is out of play on the near side. Arango couldn't keep it in. It'll be a throw in for AC. Kyle Martin to take. Aguirre in the vicinity. Monticchio as well, but it's taken away by Arboleda, who has not quite had the impact that he looked like he might have in the first few minutes. 
Uh, blocked. Tony Boa sends it forward. Gets a return pass. Tomiljanovic and Sternberger streaking towards the goal. It's off of the, the Oceaneers player. It'll be a throw in on the near side, but give the Oceaneers some time to regroup. And we are in the final minute of play. Expect uh, maybe three or four minutes of stoppage time. Yeah, we had to send it off. A couple of bad tackles, a couple of injuries, so... Still chances in this game for one of the teams to go and win it. They're both attacking, they both want to win it. Been an interesting closing stage. Tony Boa throws it in. Nobody there for AC. Claimed by the goaltender Mora. Ah, Mora was going to roll it out. Now he'll roll it to himself and then boot it deep. Kolobjanovic tried to close him down. Goes to Kyle Martin. Sends it right back towards Sternberger. Now in the air. Chested down by Rhode Island. And Backhouse. Backhouse getting forward. Trying to get on the end of this ball. Stone will play it out. Defensively strong again for Mitch Stone. Just clearing his lines. Not doing anything stupid. Yeah, safety first there. Especially Montero was right there. If you make a mistake now, it costs your team a game. game the, oh, sorry, the game, so Mitch Stone being sensible. Rhode Island looking for a winner here in the final minutes. Bauman, long ball, Montero, Stone is there, offsides. Nobody realizes yet, now the whistle is blown. So the Crusaders with the next opportunity. Gill over the midfield stripe, headed forward by the Crusaders, and then sent the other way by Rhode Island as they regain possession through Bauman. Over the head of El Geyer, it may fall for Montero, who tried to gain the referee's attention a little bit there. He's back up, and Rhode Island back in possession. Some space on the left side. Goes around one man. Opportunity poked in front, cleared away by Martin. Kyle Martin in the right spot there. Nobody from Rhode Island in a good position to tuck that one away, but a good thought by the Oceaneers that cross across the face of goal. Now in the middle of the park. AC on the left side. This is Aguirre. Kyle Martin coming forward as well. This is Monticchio to try to chase it down. He cannot keep it in. Yeah, Kyle Martin doing good recovery work there. Good positioning for the defensive clearance. Now they'll try to get past the defender. And Martin back to try to track Montero. Martin has done a lot of running in the last couple of minutes. And Montero gets past him. Steven Montero. This one is, I think that's off Tony Boa. It will be a corner. It will. Right, Tony Boa working hard there. Dying stage of the game. Getting back for his team. And conceding a corner was a fantastic challenge. Not that much was coming off for Tony Boa in the first uh, half. But, but he's been more impressive here in the second. Yeah, he had that run for the penalty. He showed what he can do. Um, his second game for the team, he's obviously just trying to get back into fitness, get that shot. I know he's been in training for a while, but he's shown glimpses of what he can do. And that's probably the best bit of defensive work he's done all evening and, and might earn his side a point. We are in stoppage time. Bauman going to send a corner kick in. Into the box. Cleared away by AC. That was O'Shane Rose back to clear that ball away. Rose tries to get in the way there. Uh, Oceaneers send it in, a shot, Gill is out to make the save, Ryan Gill keeps it tied, now a man goes down on the box, or outside of the box, there is no call there, Rhode Island, this is deflected wide, well Ryan Gill stand on his head, there was a fantastic save, but from my view that was a penalty for Rhode Island, Oceaneers I think, uh, was he in the box, I couldn't tell, it was very close over there, over the links today, I'm not too sure, but um, Maybe the referee knows he made a mistake on one end, so he's um, re-corrected himself on the other. It's a dangerous game for a referee, the makeup game. Corner kick does not get past the Crusaders defender, and that is the final whistle. This one is in the books. These two teams will share the points. Rhode Island and AC, final score tied at two.
goals in the first half. In the first minute, Emerson Barros, the Crusaders tied it from the penalty spot through Adam Sternberger in the 32nd minute. In the 45th minute, who was it? It was Brian Rovira. 2-1 at half for the Rhode Island Oceaneers. And then in the second half, the tying goal scored by Dodgy Fritas, set up by Adam Sternberger. And that is the final score, 2-2. Two two. Each team will gain a point. Crusaders will be back home in three weeks for their final game of the first half of the season. Be sure to come out and enjoy some great American Soccer League action from Edgar Harvard Township High School. I want to thank Jason Smith for his wise words of wisdom here throughout the course of this game. Thank you for having me, Michael. Of course, my name is Mike Wolverton. Thanks for watching AC Crusader Soccer.